Hello. We're going to do a tutorial uh, using the System Rescue CD software and we're going to take a snapshot of a Windows 7 laptop. This video will be the first of two videos. Uh, in this video we're going to take a snapshot of the Windows 7 and put it on uh, the same hard drive that the Windows 7 is on on the laptop. And in the second video we'll go through the process of showing how you can take that snapshot and put it back into place on the partitions on the hard drive. Uh, the main purpose of doing this is if you uh, take a snapshot of your Windows 7 and something happens like you get a virus or a Trojan you can always get back to where you were when you had your original uh, install or did your original snapshot. This demonstration is going to show how easy it is for a user to take a snapshot of their machine's operating system. The second video we'll do will show how easy it is to take that snapshot and stick it back into the partitions and restore your computer back to a known good state. Okay, without further ado, we're going to get started. And what I have is I have a laptop that's booted with the System Rescue CD. I'm sitting at another computer so I can make the recording. Uh, of what we're going to do. So I'm going to have to connect in remotely and um, do that. Uh, I'm going to log in as root and uh, remember the IP address of that laptop. That would be helpful. Okay. And Okay, now we're logged into the laptop. Uh, to boot the System Rescue CD on the laptop, what I did was I stuck the System Rescue CD into the CD drive, and when I booted it, this happened to be a Dell computer. I hit F12, and then I told it to boot from the CD. When the CD boots, I just keep hitting Enter until I get a prompt that looks like what you see here on the screen with the root at SysRescueCD, and then I'm in the root directory. Okay, without We'll go ahead and take a look at what the hard drive looks like. We're going to use the fdisk command and we'll say fdisk-l to list slash dev slash sda. Okay, what I know is if you look down here at the bottom, I'll move my cursor on down, we have two partitions. We have a partition 1 and a partition 2. A partition 1 is a 100 megabyte partition that Windows 7 likes to make whenever you do an install. and the second partition is the uh, main partition for Windows 7. Uh, what we want to do, I happen to know that there's a little bit of space on the end of this hard drive uh, to make another partition, so we'll use the fdisk command and we'll uh, tell it to bring up that hard drive. And if I hit P, it shows me exactly what I saw, saw with that listing. Um, if you hit M, it will give you uh, help, and it will show you what all you can do. We want to make a new partition, so that's going to be N. And uh, we're not going to do anything fancy here. It's just going to be a primary partition. And the partition, we're going to stick with the default 3. Uh, we're going to take the init initial starting uh, sector, and we're going to take the default ending sector. That'll be the end of the disk and then we'll hit W to write uh, the new partition table and now if we do a dfdisk-l slash dev slash sda for the disk we'll see we have three partitions we have to format that partition so we can use it so we'll say make mkfs.ext3 slash dev slash sda3 to format the partition and by formatting it, that's going to put it in a state that we can actually use it uh, and write files to it. And we'll hang on here for a second. This shouldn't take too long. Uh, okay, great. Now, in order to use that partition, we have to uh, create a, a directory to mount that partition on. I'm going to make a directory called slash a. That'll be a... Uh, well, I must have made that a little bit... What you want to do is you want to make that M, uh, mkdir slash a. Um, I must have made that previously. 
uh, in my playing around. Uh, and now we're going to mount mount slash dev slash sda3 one two slash a. Okay. Now we'll do a change directory into slash a. And we can do a df dash h and it will show at the bottom of that uh, df command there's slash dev slash sda3 is the file system and it's mounted on slash a down here at the bottom. Okay, first thing we, I want to do is I want to grab a copy of the boot sector and I'm going to use the dd command for that so I'll type dd and the, the block size of the uh, thing that I want to grab is going to be 512 bytes so I'll say block size equals 512 I want to get one block so I'll say count equals one the input file is actually going to be the device slash dev slash SDA, it's the hard drive, and the output file, um, by default, uh, I call it uh, SDA.MBR. MBR stands for Master Boot Record, and then I'll hit Enter, and there it copied 512 bytes. I'm going to take a slight detour here. I'm going to say under the slash a directory, I'm going to say mkdir win 7 image. I'm going to make a directory to hold all of this stuff that we're making. And I'm going to move this SDA file that we just created into the win 7 directory. And I'm going to do a change directory into the win 7 directory. And now I have a little directory that's going to hold all the stuff that we create. I want to get the disk geometry. I'm going to use the fdisk command and then dash d slash dev slash sda and that's going to go to, I'm going to put that into a file, redirect that into a file called fsfdisk dash sda dot out. It's just a file convention I use, file naming convention I use. And now if I cat that uh, sfdisk command, you'll see the uh, disk geometry of, um, uh, of the disk. Uh, now we probably wouldn't use this for the particular thing that we're doing here because the um, I do this so that if I have another disk I can always, uh, or, or even on this disk, I can uh, put it back. I can put the master boot record on and I can uh, load the whole uh, disk soup to nuts. Uh, the two things that we're probably most concerned about are going to be the um, uh, are going to be the first and second partitions in terms of recovering them. Okay, in order to get a snapshot of a partition, we're going to run the part image command. Okay, uh, now with the part image command, we want to get a snapshot of that. Uh, SDA1. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to um, put the file into slash a slash win7 image. If you remember we made that uh, those directories and then uh, I always name the file SDA1 as the starting part of the file name and this is the um, uh, Windows, uh, call it, yeah, Windows Win 7 system partition. And we want to save the partition to a new image file. I'm not going to worry about encrypting the uh, partition. And then I'll hit next. And everything on here looks good. We're going to uh, do gzip. Uh, We'll check the partition before saving. We'll enter a description. Uh, when it finishes, uh, it's going to uh, wait for us. It'll give us an OK, it's done. And then uh, we're going to split the partition. This is going to be a real small partition, so this won't pertain. But if the partition was greater than uh, 2 gig, it would split the backup files into 2 gig chunks. OK, and then we'll hit Continue. And this is a Windows 
seven system partition slash dev slash SDA one. That's just documentation. Um, you can pretty well write whatever you want. And then here you always get this uh, thing, this message saying that the NTFS format is experimental. And it tells us what it's going to do in terms of the output. This is a little 100 megabyte partition, so it was very quick. Okay, we're going to run it, this part image uh, command again, because now what we want to do is we want to get the bulk of the uh, Windows 7 uh, operating system there, and that's in the slash SDA2, or that's in the SDA2. Uh, so I used my cursor key, went down to SDA2, hit the tab key, and went down to image file to create and use. And again, that's slash A, slash Win7, image, slash SDA2, dash, Windows 7. That's the main Windows 7 partition. And the last part here uh, with the file name, that's you know just my convention. I know it's SDA2, and oop, Windows 7. Okay. And again, we're going to save. And so I just keep hitting the tab key here, connect to server, server name. Uh, we're not going to put it on a remote server. Um, we're not going to encrypt the data. And we're going to hit next. Everything on this screen is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit F5 to bypass the screen. And this is um, Windows 7 slash dev slash SDA2. And get that uh, NTFS experimental message and now it's going to tell us what it's going to do and now we're going to go ahead and kick it off now as you can see here if you take a look the estimate that it's going to take is about uh, saying 50 some minutes it may actually finish a little bit quicker than that but um, we're going to actually pause the video while this backup is uh, occurring and we'll be back in, uh, when this finishes. Okay, here we are back with just a few seconds left on the um, uh, taking the snapshot and uh, the part image operation has finished and we have now successfully taken a snapshot of the second partition which held Windows 7. We have the OK, it's all done and we'll go ahead and uh, hit enter and it comes back uh, to the uh, prompt and we'll type ls to see what's there and we can see we have the SDA one that's the first partition that's the 100 megabyte partition and SDA two uh, split up into a bunch of uh, two gigabyte partitions and we'll do ls minus l <coughs> and so we have a bunch of two gigabyte partitions uh, for SDA2 and then at the master boot record uh, file and the disk geometry with the SF disk and that's how you take the snapshot using system rescue CD uh, we'll be making another second video which will show you how to uh, uh, take the snapshot of the partitions and put it back over the partitions. And that's the, that concludes this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's helpful.